anybody else uh when they get set up duck hunting real early it gets real quiet you start hearing things all around you in the swamp and I hear water moving all around my boat. I feel like I'm about to get attacked by some sea otters or something. It's it's freaky out here in the dark, man. <laughs> Especially by yourself. I sure enough can't trust Griffin. He passed out. So if I don't make it to, to sunlight, I got about 30 minutes left. It's because the um, uh, Yeti Sasquatched and snatched me out the back of this boat. So y'all stay tuned. Hopefully I got some more video for you because that means I made it. <laughs> Well, I knocked one of those wood ducks down. It actually came from the front of the boat. I didn't see it until the last minute. I swung on it and it landed in the swamp. So whenever I pack up today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to see if I can walk in there. We'll give it a shot there at the end. That is the first duck to really commit to the decoys. Everything else, I mean, I've seen a lot, but it's all been migratory or passing from one area to another. There's some impoundments in the vicinity. It, it seems like they're heading in those directions. But if I could just get some, some birds that's actually flying the waterway that I'm hunting, I'd be able to decoy him because he, he did it, or she did it right. But uh, we're gonna give it a couple more hours and see if anything else happens. All right, y'all, we have made a completely different move. I didn't show you the boat line very well early, but we are hunting a completely different body of water. And I heard there were some mallards in this vicinity. That's really what I love to kill. I've only killed one mallard in my duck hunting career. And that has been, gosh, I've been duck hunting for 11 years. So we're gonna hunt the rest of the day. It's about three hours left of daylight. so. Maybe we'll see some birds, we'll see. All right, y'all, it's uh, day three. Yesterday, I actually shot those two birds that you just watched. Today, I slept in and decided to come out and try to do an afternoon hunt right before this front got here. And it is pouring rain. I've got the camera underneath the uh, shelter here. I'm gonna try my best. Um, I've already seen a couple of big flocks of birds. I've only been here five minutes. So I'm hopeful that this rain will fall out closer to around four o'clock and then I'll actually have like a, a push of birds that get up and try to get the water off their wings. That's the plan anyways. You know how this stuff goes. You, you ain't gonna kill them on the couch. So we're gonna give it our best shot, but I appreciate y'all. It's about 10 minutes after shooting light and I just knocked down that uh, wood duck. It actually fell about 20 yards behind me right on the bank, so I'm letting it sit there for now. I don't want to miss out on another opportunity by putting the blind down, idling all the way over there, getting it, getting set back up, and missing the first 20 minutes of shooting light. That's usually when I do my best, so we're gonna, we're gonna grind it for a few minutes and uh, see if we can pick off another bird or two. Check out those three buffalo heads that landed in the decoys. All right, it's the final day of the five day hunting stretch and we have temperatures in the teens. I've already seen a few flocks of ducks, which is a good sign. I hope that this cold weather has birds moving around and ice in the swamps. We'll actually have them up and uh, decoying today. We'll see. I've seen a bunch of birds over the past few days. Just they're going straight to food sources and impoundments. Yeah, 
Yeah, I got a duck working right now. All right, I gotta go. So I just went and retrieved that teal. I get the teal, I get it back set up. Well, all of a sudden I'm looking out. I see a bluebill in the diver decoys and he's swimming around right behind all the decoys standing right there tucked away so I couldn't really get a shot on him. Well, I'm waiting on him to kind of move out of the way so I can put a shot on him. Well, I see six mallards working off in the distance. They come straight for me. They land just outside of the decoys. I shoot, y'all saw it, I shot three times. I knocked the hen down and chased her for 15 minutes. She got out in the rough water and I lost her. Really sucks. Um, what I did when I came back in was grabbed all the decoys that were basically on the outside half and moved them in. So now I'm looking at 25 yards is the longest shot I'd be taking. Should have done this at first day. It's just tough because you can't really tell your distance when you're, when you're setting up in the dark on open water. Learned a lot of lessons today. The overall hunt has been really good. It's just, it's been tough, man. Uh, it's, everything's iced up. Um, I'm rocking back and forth in the boat. Excuses, excuses. I should have more birds in the boat, but hey man, we're going to keep at it.